Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. Making mistakes in English is very common among students who are learning English from scratch. In this video, I want to talk about the five most common grammatical mistakes people make. So let's just go over them, okay? Let me tell you first that I have a special section on my channel called Confusing English. There, uh, there are a list of uh, uh, videos dedicated to confusing words, confusing verbs, etc. So, go over them. So, the first mistake is forgetting about the S in the third person singular for present simple sentences. So, an example could be, she speaks English, he speaks English, not he speak English, she speak English. We need to add an S if the sentence is a positive one. What happens if the sentence is a negative sentence? Well, we add the auxiliary doesn't. He doesn't speak English, she doesn't speak English. Some people say he don't speak English, she don't speak English. Well, that's incorrect. We say she doesn't speak English, he doesn't speak English. It doesn't eat meat, for example. No? So, this is the first mistake, the most common mistake of all. The second mistake I want to talk about is about conditionals. We have the first, second, and third conditionals. Some people confuse them, okay? So, uh, remember that in the sentence, uh, um, the condition follows or the present simple, or the past simple, or present continuous, the past continuous, or even the past perfect. The result, instead, is used with a present, okay? You can the, this would be the zero conditional, or in the first conditional, you will add will plus infinitive plus a verb in an infinitive form. The second conditional, and the result uh, part of the sentence, is with uh, would plus infinitive. And in the third conditional, the, th the, 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 the result would be with would plus present perfect. So have plus the past participle. Some people get confused between them, okay? And uh, don't forget that, it's very important. So an example that I could think of uh, is uh, for the first conditional, if uh, tomorrow rains, I will stay home, okay, for the first conditional. So as you can uh, see, I place the present simple at the beginning and in the result I placed the uh, auxiliary of the future which is will and then the uh, infinitive uh, okay, verb. For the second conditional, if I studied harder, I would pass my exam. So the first part is with the past simple and the second part, the result, is with would plus infinitive. So an example with the third conditional, if I had studied harder, I would have passed my exam. So the first part, so the condition of the sentence would be with the past perfect. And then the second part is with would plus present perfect. Okay, so have plus past participle. Now let's look at the third most common mistake. And this is with possessives, or apostrophe S. A lot of people don't know where to place the apostrophe S for the possessive, and also for other things that I will go over uh, just after that. So the formula I give my students is whose, so whose then the action, plus apostrophe S, plus what, the object. So for example, Tanya's pet or Tanya's brother, okay? So Tanya apostrophe S plus the object, or in this case, with brother is uh, a person, okay? Tanya's brother. So this is what regards to the possessives. What about the apostrophe S 
can be also an auxiliary. And uh, uh, for example, he is or he's uh, watching TV. He's watching TV. I know that as the apostrophe as there um, is the verb to be because there is a gerb. Okay. As opposed to he's gone back to America. That as there is the auxiliary has obviously because and I know that because there is a past participle right after it. So the fourth uh, mistake I want to um, give you in this mini lesson is the difference between could and should. Could is to be able to do something in the past. So when I was young I could uh, swim. Now I can't anymore. Okay. So could is be able uh, to do something in the past. Should instead is a modal verb like could but we use it for suggestions. Okay, so I can say or I can give a suggestion to a friend of mine and I say you should study harder. Okay, you should study harder. So is to give, we use it to give an advice to someone. So should and could. This is the other um, confusing uh, grammatical point that students make. Now, the last most common grammatical mistake I want to talk about is about the difference between who and which. Okay, so who we use it for people. Okay, so when we want to refer to people. Okay, obviously we use it in written English or in formal English. The example I could think of, I saw the woman who was attacked. Okay, who replaces the woman? And uh, in informal English, I could even say, I saw the woman that was attacked. This is in informal English. Use which instead for things or events only. So, the movie which was shown on TV was bad. Okay, so this is in formal uh, context, uh, so, so in written English, but in informal uh, way I could I could even replace it with that so the movie that was shown on TV was bad okay so now let's recap the first mistake I talked about was forgetting about the s in the third person singular for present simple uh, sentences and obviously um, if you have a sentence a negative sentence don't forget to conjugate it with uh, uh, the auxiliary does for the third person singular. So the second mistake I talked about were the conditionals. So the, the first conditional, second conditional, and the third conditional. Don't forget to, um, to follow the rule, the formula, okay, of the condition and then the result, okay? Don't confuse them with uh, uh, switching uh, tenses or verbs or so on. The third mistake I talked about was the uh, possessives or the s, the apostrophe s, at the end of the subject. Okay, uh, remember to uh, the formula whose plus apostrophe plus what or who, obviously. So Tanya's brother, I, uh, it was my example. The fourth mistake I talked about was the difference between should and could. So should is for suggestions or advice and could is the same as to say to be able to in the past. Okay, the last uh, mistake I, I talked about were the uh, relative pronouns who and which. So who is used for people, for persons, and which for things or events. Okay, um, these are only for formal contests. If you want to use them in informal contests, you can replace both with that. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please share it and I see you next time. Take care.